Uh, I always wanted to do business and I went to school for uh, economics and pretty much I knew coming out of college that my main job is to help my family out and use my skills I learned in college to help them. This picture is all about the lighting, mm -hmm. so it's one, two, three, four here. Mm -hmm. We have to probably get I think, 40 pieces of light. So my parents uh, left crisis in Eritrea in the 70s, 80s. My mother went to Italy. She taught, she learned how to um, cook over there for a couple years, spoke the language, and she wanted better opportunities, better opportunities, so she came to the U.S. Uh, she drove cab in the 80s, and it was a hard time in New York City, especially. And um, so she would drive by Amsterdam over and over again, and she saw an open space. She wanted to use her skills as a cook to open up a restaurant, and she did it. She, her and her husband, my father, um, opened up the restaurant in 1988. She didn't speak the language, she didn't have much money, she um, was a woman, and that in itself was really difficult. This is our 30th anniversary, and it's a coincidence that we're doing expansion now, but um, we're gonna double the size of the restaurant, have a full size bar, offer breakfast, coffee, Ethiopian coffee. It's, it's really exciting. You can just look at this and, and feel it, you know what I mean? And everybody who walks in here feels the energy and they're all excited with us too. Right now we just finished demolition, so the place is a little messy. But um, we're just gonna build out the windows in the next couple days on the corner on 121st. Building out a full bar here. We're gonna keep the ceilings, keep it high, keep it exposed. It's giving me peace of mind what I worked 30 years and now is uh, result what I see. My parents are sitting back now because they know that, that me and my brother have a better eye at what's going on right now in the market. But um, they're just excited, they're listening to us, they're giving us the green light for everything. I feel like I, I accomplished something. Um, uh, really, uh, I don't know how to explain my happiness. I get up at 7 o'clock, go to my school, I'm a TA in the, in the South Bronx for kids with autism, fourth grade, and pretty much I helped them do classwork, make sure they're safe. They're underserved in many, many ways. So nobody's looking at them, nobody's helping them. So, and a lot of these people could be your, my brother, my sister, my friends. After work, I go to the restaurant, help my mom and dad out with any like paperwork and just opportunities for growth, for catering in that sense. Uh, that's pretty much a week. How's everything? Good? Nice to see you, man. How are you? Good you. I'm good, I'm good. Good to see you. Me too. You're in business. Mm -hmm. You're in business. So your value proposition. Okay, thank so you this so much. is for you. Oh, thank you. Okay. To join the program, you have to have a business in Harlem. And the program is paid for mostly by Columbia University and some through the state. But for us, it's free. And because of that, it allows people who don't have the resources, who don't have the money, to, to be part of something that's really big and important. And they give you everything else. They give you the, the advisors, they give you the support system, which is amazing. They brought in like specific based guests to talk about, about food, about branding, about Amazon, about a whole bunch of different things. We're about to push the product out maybe two to three months. Without them, it would have taken us another two, three years. Our most popular dish, Shiro, it's by far a bestseller. Babies eat it, everybody eats it. It's a pureed, pureed uh, ginger, uh, onion, tomatoes, and uh, split peas. So it's our biggest seller, and we know people want this product, so we want to push it out and give them what they want. It gave us the platform and the confidence to go forward in anything you wanted to do, and you meet amazing people too. Everybody there is an entrepreneur. They have the same exact mindset you have, and that's hard to find because your friends don't have the mindset, some of your family members don't have the mindset. So being around like-minded people like that pushes you. We want to continue the legacy for another 30 years, hopefully more. And hopefully my kids could someday work in Masala and help us grow even more.